cursed creature. What is that? Oh, I can make mummies now. Oh, yeah, I do have regular flesh. Good. I got worried for a second I there. To keep the embalmed organs as a souvenir. So what are his abilities? Curses, damage and loses luck. A lot of moving related abilities. Which actually is really good for me. Let's see, read the middle, please. Eh. The curse of the target, extra for per turn, reduce luck, stress attack. Oh, removes all debuffs and heals him. Cool. So I could check a brain on this guy. Uh, yeah, I could chuck a brain on him. What else do we have? Slay enemies. Defeat any two bosses. Wow. Still haven't done that yet. Sanity is going to take a while. Turn enemies into vampires. I don't know how to do that without a vampire, but okay. Debuff enemies. Gather bones. It's going to take a while. Lure damp dampiers over to your side. 3,500 damage to your own minions. Complete the game on more pain or higher. And more pain or higher. Some of these are going to take a while. Yeah, so I could check a brain on this guy. He doesn't have very good parts, though. But yeah, I could. Okay, so we want to make... Ideally... Lose luck until the battle ends. Lose luck for two turns. I expect results. Okay. Ignores ward. No, we want to do impending misery. Anything that moves people around. Probably do absorb wrath. He doesn't really need healing. Some of the other stuff might have been better than that, but this will be okay. Alright, so what's he have? Honestly, let's give him the mana generation. Okay, so now we've got a mummy. In retrospect, if I can make mummies, one of these required a mummy to upgrade. This one, actually. I don't actually know if I need the Souls of the Architect as much anymore. In future runs, yes. This run, maybe not so much so. I'm actually going to take one of these guys off. I'm going to chuck him in there. Uh, let's see. There's a lot of just random management that I kind of need to go through here. So you can't do flesh. Can I do this? Yes. Only one. Come, dear. It's time for your performance. So we got a random banshee. Can't do that one. Can I do her? No. Because I don't have regular meat. I also do have a bunch of level 3 brains. If I wanted to do something of the... Let's see. I want to do some of these. Okay. Let's just go back to the graveyard. Uh, excavator. I do... I need a Zambo. I guess I'll just chuck her back into this for the time being. And... Oh, right, we have a talent point. I am unsure which I want to invest in. Actually, I know exactly which one we with want to grab. And will grab that one to start with. Victory. Ooh, enemy loses luck until the battle ends. If they escape, we get a vampire. Oh, that's how we get the vampires. Okay, that's really important.
Banishment feels pretty good. Better than Dungeon Div uh, Darkest Dungeon, because it's more RPG-ish, not just flat improvements and trinket farming. I have to agree with that. I do feel a lot more interested in this kind of management, just because. Let's see. The max mana. Uh, actually, back to the graveyard. Is there room in any of these? No. Well, there's the there's room in the Aratus statue. I'll just leave him there for the time being. I forgot I had somebody there. I guess I'll take her out, move it over. There we go. That way I'd never have to move him around again. Let's see. Let's go for this guy. Obviously this squad. Ooh, those looks like look like some new enemies. Hi! Strength of mediocrity. Now these things look chunky. And I'm gonna have to plow through them. So I guess I'm just gonna start. Okay, let's have her move to the right. I'm not sure how that happened, but crescendo. I don't think these guys are gonna be moving. Let's do worship in. Keep doing strength and mediocrity. I am worthy. I like this guy. Let's see. Keep crescendoing. Because it more or less makes them useless. So now what do we want to do? We have warning shot. I could stress some of these guys out. Especially because he seems particularly susceptible to it. Stop smacking around my skeleton, damn it. Alright, whatever. Yeah, the problem is this makes it so enemies hit the skeleton more, not less. Uh, wait. Yeah, main problem is he has no armor and resistance to begin with. Which is a bit of an issue. How much HP does it have? I should have just... Eh. These last few hard well, there's the insanity. Goes for a lady. Oh, it didn't kill this thing yet. Damn it. Um, I guess I'm just going to have him do Astounding Fortitude. We might use our healing spell here. But I think that's entirely justified. Oh, did he get... He got stunned. Gotcha. Well, that just takes him out. Is that a stance? There will still be enough left to reanimate. I don't know if that was a stance or what exactly. Please stop hitting my skeleton. He is so killable. Well, he's got a buff. I, why do I keep doing this to myself? Let's see. No. Always crescendo. Mm. It makes it so they don't actually hurt me. Nearly as bad as they could be hurting me. Break their bones. And he dies of heart attack. I don't know why... I keep attacking with the skeleton and I need to stop that because it's dumb. Hello, Orb of Vulnerability. I should take a look at some of these things. Okay, first and foremost, Skeleton has gotten beaten around enough, so let's pull him out. Chuck the mummy in. Chuck the Skeleton in, bring the zombie back out. Nope. How's the Zambo doing? Ignores resistance, ignores ward. He 
get better cannon. Can just do a stress attack? Hmm. I think I'm gonna get it so Grand Volley get ignores Ward. To a little late for him, but still. Okay, destruction. Now we probably want to save up specifically for more parts, because the more parts I get, the better the better dudes I get, and that seems extremely important. Do I want to take a little bit of a moment and start improving? my dudes again, because I've been holding off on that and might not be a bad idea. I need, like, one more guy, I think. Okay, I need a zombie and a mummy. Okay, so I need a couple more guys. Wish I didn't have to click and... Oh, no, we don't have any flesh. Which means can't make the zombo either. All right, screw it. Let's just uh, let's just combine everything down. It's no goal, but it will do. That's good enough. But dust, nothing useful from dust. Let's only upgrade the things that I actually have the higher tier version of. Okay, eh, it's not better. It's not that much better, but this is okay. I really wish you could double click on things. I am in the, I am in complete agreement. So let's let's go for the chest battle and that. Slightly faster. This has taken a long time. Enemies are more likely to drop parts. Spells are cheaper. Or ooh. Go for the lancet. The rest. More parts is just better. Uh we wanted to do artifacts. It embellishes my undead features, no? Grab that. We're going to use Strange Jar on the next one. Okay, let's fight. We're a little wounded, but not terribly so. The colors indicate the quality. More or less, yeah. Okay. So how do I want to do this? We should probably start with Worship Him. Move her over and do crescendo. Anything to debuff them. Now I gotta start going for the headsman. Okay, so they're not moving around too much, which is a bit of an issue. If I stress the headsman, we don't have to worry about... We don't have to worry about other stuff. Okay, staring in the void. Oh, it's a 50% chance to redirect to self. Got it. Shit. I don't really have much of a choice here, and this guy has so much armor. Well, that solves some problems. And they both went insane. Hey! I love it when that happens. Ow, we're taking some hits. Have Abyssal Hunger. We gotta just hit that guy. Uh, not going great. My darling, kill! Okay. Question is, 20 to 25 enemies behind it. Or fire explosive. I gotta really set this guy on fire. The people in the back are not nearly as dangerous. Well, he just pieced. Maybe we we'll want to get that vampire move after the fact. Three vampires. Absolutely worthwhile. <laughs> Okay, my turn. 
Battle Eternal? Well, Battle I'm Eternal. I'm Vigor. Because she's already losing her cooks. So it's not so bad. Oh, right. I should probably just start generating mana here. Yeah. Let's just do that. Another step towards my eternal king. Random goodies. And, okay. Still no talent point. Everything is fine. To the dungeon. We can go to the grave. This will just give me a random minion? So it will. Uh, well, I could use another mummy. And there's the boss. So, first and foremost, graveyard. Oh! This mummy... And eh, honestly, that didn't really help that much. <laughs> Built on a foundation of bone. Okay. So who is a cheap something or other that I can make? Uh, can I make a death knight? Yes. another death knight chuck him in there it'd be interesting if the quality of your dudes actually affected some of these things but it doesn't okay I'm gonna leave the skeleton man in there for the time being anything else that I can do I mean nope can't upgrade that could upgrade that but I don't really care chuck the mummy in here I guess for the time being I don't think I need to do anything with this and yeah I can't upgrade that all right well, we're about to go into a boss fight. We might want to consider one other thing. I might want to get Soul Leech. Just a really basic attack spell. Just to hit enemies. I'm gonna grab it. If we're if we're going into a boss fight, it seems like a good idea. Alright, I can give somebody purple armor. It's really tempting to actually give it to the to this guy. But then again, if I give it to this guy, it probably makes him better. Lock luck and initiative. Actually, never mind. Oh, these might be randomly generated. Well, chucking on the Zambo. Because, yeah, if it doesn't raise his actual stats, then it's not worth it. I I had no idea those were randomly... Uh, those had random stats. I figured it was just based on quality, but no. Which is what I know about this game. Anyway, the keys in his possession granted this man great purpose. For a bribe and a favor, he was willing to carry missives, arrange fights, and allow gangs of criminals to quietly murder their competition while they slept. He saw himself as king... And the keys were his crown. As long as they were needed, he was needed. For the undead care not for the jingling metal. And for the man himself, they will have no need at all. Okay. Well, trench loading. So what do we do? Probably start with worship him. Alright. We have whale. Let's scoot her forward, though. Always crescendo. Now, it looks like the boss is, one, kind of horrifying looking. Two, big old ballista. Doesn't look like the dudes with him are particularly good. He's got a debuff, yeah? I have to be a little worried that he's going to kill my back line. But I'll, I should be okay. Down to the void. There's the insanity. Right, let's get this going. I don't think these characters are moving much at all. Which is... I. Oh. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Alright, whatever. Uh... Keep trench loading. I might want to do some 
hits on some of these guys. Uh, oh, he heals. A lot of buffs, too. Freedom chimes. Maybe I should keep him in... I'm just going to keep working on that. How do we one handle this? Because it seems like stress attacks might be my better option here. Yep, there we go. Because if I make these guys just bonkers, we'll be in a better spot. I don't know how he lost the warding. But I'm just going to I'm just going to keep having him trench load. Because this, this could work really well for me. i just got to figure out how to do some magic damage to him. One of my characters has to have magic. Otherwise, I could just hit him physically. Uh, just try and kill that guy? No, nope, didn't work. How do these do magic? This one does. After a scoot forward. Flames of love. That didn't quite work. Okay, there. That gets rid of warning. Being born was your first mistake. Okay. Opposing me? <laughs> your last. He's still a pretty freaking... How much damage is that going to do? A lot. Let's keep waiting. I can wait for a very long time if I would want and or need to. Uh, let's see. Just set him on fire. Uh, let's get that guy, take him out. Okay. Now do we do it? Freaking, yeah, sure. That should be good enough. Let's just start... Let's just start hitting this guy. Let's see. Anything else I can do to him? Not overwhelmingly. We do have the ability to self... Oh, he has the ability to summon friendmen. I was not aware of that. I mean, good for him, I guess. His poor friendmen, though. Ooh, not so good for them. Yeah, he'll just he'll just burn to death on the next round. Bombardment. I almost never use it for obvious reasons. Warning shot. Ooh. Smack that guy around. I have no idea if I get extra perks. Uh, perks. I have no idea if I get extra stuff based on uh, how many I kill. Because you could almost farm this guy. Why does this guy not just run? <laughs> Holy crap. Okay, maybe I should use bombardment with trench loading more often. Maybe, probably. My will. Well, two talent points and a whole bunch of random drubbage. Oh, maybe I should have done my healing spell there. Eh, whatever. It's fine. Let's see. Only hits one. 12 vigor, 15 vigor. I'd rather increase his maximum HP. That makes him considerably better. So stress attack does give him a little bit more of that, but no, we will not. That increases his resistance. None of these actually would have increased. Hmm. Go for the accuracy boost. Missing sucks. And I don't like it. Now, would I rather have her do three more damage? Probably. Okay, what she got? Her HP's 
Okay, now that's block. Block's not really that amazing. I'm just gonna Serve increase well, her dread stat. Yeah, I gotta pay attention to these these stat upgrades. I think I've mostly chosen fine, but I could could have chosen slightly better sometimes. Okay, enemy loses luck, and if they escape. Yeah, I want to pick up Blood Curse, mainly because this will let me generate zombies. Anytime, anytime anybody's about to run, I can just bite them, and they'll just become a vampire for me instead. Which is pretty dang good. Uh, let's see. Anything else? No. So, whoops, wrong one. Go to the dungeon. Let's go to the exit. The hunger for wealth had long since become the only virtue among the hardy dwarven folk. Gone were their ancient traditions, along with the names of their ancestors. For what was more powerful, logic or some dead dwarf rotting away into dust? The ruthless scientists and alchemists knew the answer to that question, and the human kingdom was more than willing to facilitate their experiments. They have grown rich and feared, setting up their own enclave, and became the default overseers in the mines. <laughs> See, I actually thought this was going to be reverse, uh, reverse darkest dungeon. I thought I'd be building the dungeon here, but no, we're just crawling through the dungeon and setting, uh, we're just crawling through the dungeon and taking it for ourselves. I was really hoping there would be a little bit more base building aspects to this. Like, how rad would it be if you actually were just slowly building up your own kind of linear dungeon? Maybe with some branching paths and, like, put treasure in certain places to lure people in. Which is what Legend of the Keeper's prologue was like. And this is very much just... No, it's... It's... It's, it's Darkest Dungeon, but you're the bad guys and it's a little bit more arcade roguelike. Which, honestly, I actually really like. I almost like this better than Darkest Dungeon. Because Darkest Dungeon uh, was grindy. Almost painfully later. and unfun. In terms of just how much stuff you had to go through to... It's no goal, kind of reach the end. And I never really enjoyed that. Let's just keep upgrading these. I've got oh, enough minions, so I don't need the random stuff anymore. And getting a bunch of purples, that will make my guys real strong. Um, but yeah, so this one just feels immediately more accessible to most basic end users, I would say. And that actually is very important. So she has nothing, but she's doing fine. I guess we should probably take a look at this. Either of these good for her. Extra luck, dread, and attack. The luck is real good. So let's slap that on her. We also have some blood. Initiative, luck, and ward. Yep, okay. So now we have a <laughs> uncommon, rare, and legendary. We just zipped up the ranks on that one, but that's fine. So evasion, attack, and ward, extra ward and block. Some of these might be better than others. I am mildly unsure. Unfortunately, none of these characters actually need a skull. But yeah, I, I love the randomly generated stuff here. You mean Dungeon Keeper before e early access? Yeah, yeah. Can you not combine purples? I don't think so. There's there's only four slots here, so I, I'm, I'm betting... Uh, I'm betting specifically purples cap out, and then, then you look at the randomly generated stats, and you're like, yeah, it's good or bad, I don't know. If you really wanted to, you could actually save up all your parts and really fine-tune, which is what I might start doing. These characters will probably just eat the purples, but eventually I'll probably just uh, make, like, the super cannoneer zombie that just destroys everything with even more powder. Trench loading is nice for that extra durability, but with the healing spells I got, ain't worth it. Next zombie, though. I guess I could. I should probably make the next zombie at some point, but that'll be later. Yeah, on, honestly, I'm not really sure how I'm going to handle this as a series, mainly because I just recorded, what, four episodes right then and there. This is supposed to be an indie game lightning round today, and I absolutely screwed that up because this game is fun as hell, uh, which is good, and it means that I want to play more, but I'm not going to play any more tonight. Uh, so I think I'm going to see how YouTube reacts to this, and honestly, if people just want me to play more Erratus, then I'll just load it up at some other day. Uh, it's still in early access, too, so there's kind of no rush. But if people want more, then I will keep going. But not tonight. 